Hi everyone, let's understand what are the assumptions of classical linear regression model CLRM or we can call it ORS, ordinary least square. So here is model should be the first very, very important assumption is model should be linear in parameters. So what is the difference between parameters and difference between parameters and we can call it variables, right? Parameters, what's the difference between parameters and variables? So let me clear all these things. Let's see, you have this particular equation. Y equal to, this is beta 1. Sorry. Let me take eraser. Right. I am going to take y equal to here is alpha plus beta 1 beta 1 and x1 plus here is beta 2 and x2 plus alpha right so here is these are known as our parameters and these are variables x1 x2 are variables these are our independent variables but these are the parameters so in the first assumption model should be linear in parameters parameters they should be linear it should not be like that uh, beta 1 square that is not acceptable but if we have x1 square that is acceptable because these are variables those can be non-linear but these coefficients we can say these parameters cannot be cannot be non-linear so i hope this one is the first assumption Second assumption is mean of error term should be zero. Expected error must be zero. That should be zero. It should be like this error term means we're talking about our predicted value and this one is our actual value and estimated value. So difference between. So that means that should be zero. We cannot say error term, it can be 5 or 6 or 7 because that means we are presuming that actual values and those are predicted values, these are not similar. That means there is always a gap in between that. So we, we cannot accept, right, if mean of error term is not 0, it should be 0. Third one is we are talking about next assumption is no multicollinearity. I had already made a video on multicollinearity and I will give link in my description box so you can see, you can check multicollinearity video and how we can resolve multicollinearity using eViews. Next one is we are talking about no autocorrelation. Multicollinearity means let me once again I'm just just uh, just uh, uh, repeating this particular point. There should not be multicollinearity, right? Autocorrelation said there all the independent variables should not be correlated to each other. Multicollinearity said. It's not correct. Autocorrelation means all the variables should not be correlated with each other. Generally, our students are saying this definition. But I am saying multipolarity means all the independent variables, they should not be correlated to each other. Autocorrelation means we are talking about when the one particular variable itself from their paths values that is correlated. That is known as autocorrelation means one particular variable in the time series that is correlated from their previous year values that is autocorrelation heterosodasticity i had already made video on heterosodasticity and that is already i will give the link in my description box heterosodasticity means when error term is here homosodasticity and heterosodasticity these are the terms so our model should be they should be homosodasticity they should not be heterosodasticity i had already explained each and everything over there then we come to the no endogeneity here is exogeneity 
no endogeneity exogeneity we are just 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 cutting this endogeneity means independent variables should not be correlated with error term otherwise what will happen value of coefficient will be overestimated overestimated means we are talking about i will give you difference between overestimated and underestimated overestimated means when this one is independent variable is correlated with error term it means your beta value would be overestimated that means this beta value it is reflecting whatever in the error term in the error term because there is the endogeneity independent variable is correlated with the error term that means beta value what would be that would be overestimated whatever is the value will we are estimating the error term should be normally distributed this is the as per the center limit theorem we have already studied center limit theorem what is saying so if generally we are saying when we are increasing sample size so distribution become normal so this one is the error term should be normally distributed and i am just 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 uh, uh, saying this you can see here it could be like this it will be like that you can see right so this is our normality correct then we come to the here is in this assumption like gauss markov theorem said if all these above six six means these are six assumptions these are six assumptions are fulfilled right holding by any model so that means our models alpha and beta are blue blue means these are best linear unbiased estimator that means your model is absolutely right and we are fulfilling this particular condition that is known as blue means best linear unbiased estimator that means our model is best that is linear that is unbiased and that is this one is the right these are estimators are correct now we come to the what is the difference between overestimate and underestimate you can see the term overestimate and underestimate both mean to make an evaluation or assessment that is not precise or correct means overestimate refers to an appraisal that is higher than the real value or outcome the underestimate that itself this word is defining that means evaluation is lower for example if you bring 100 cups to party that only has 25 guests so you overestimated the number of the cups you needed to bring so the party it's usually better to overestimate than underestimate up now over overrate to have too high an opinion to something and here is to put too high a value on someone or something these last point we will discuss t value and all these things when we will discuss with the help of e views what is overestimation what is underestimation we will discuss about the t value so here is i'm not discussing this t value in my coming up videos i will discuss all these t values i hope this video would be helpful to you what are the assumptions of a classical linear regression model so thank you so much keep watching stay tuned